liftoff of the Delta rocket. The space race was famous blast. for the moon landing and rockets like the Saturn V SA-506 that landed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. But it was built on the designs of many more rockets. Today we count down the 10 most incredible and interesting rockets that led us towards lunar exploration. Let's get started. Number 10 on our list is the Thor Delta rocket, a workhorse of the early American space program. Developed in the 1950s, the Thor Delta played a crucial role in launching a wide range of payloads, including communication satellites, scientific instruments and early space probes. The Delta IV variant currently remains in use, last launched in June 2023. The Thor Delta rocket was instrumental in launching the United States' first communication satellites, such as Telstar, which enabled live television broadcasts across the Atlantic, revolutionising global communications. Based on a modified version of the PGM-17 Thor ballistic missile, they had a payload of 290 kilograms at low Earth orbit and 45 kilograms at geostationary orbit. The Juno-1 may not have been as powerful as some of its counterparts, but it played a vital role by launching the first American satellite, Explorer-1, in 1958, marking the US's entry into the space race. It was a four-stage launch vehicle with a payload capacity of 11 kilograms. It was 21.2 metres tall, 70 feet, and weighed 29,060 kilograms, 64,070 pounds. Saturn 1B was a stepping stone towards the mighty Saturn V, crucial in enabling human missions to the moon. It was used for early Apollo missions including Apollo 7 and Apollo 9. It had a maximum payload capacity of 46,000 pounds, 21,000 kilograms. It was 141.6 feet, 43.2 meters tall, and weighed 1,300,220 pounds, 589,770 kilograms. Voskhod, a modification of the Vostok rocket, enabled the first multi-crewed space flights. It was a critical precursor to future space missions, highlighting the Soviet Union's pioneering achievements. It was based on the Soviet R07 ICBM and was later used to launch the Zenit reconnaissance satellites. It had a max payload of 5,900 kilograms, 13,000 pounds, and was 30.84 meters tall, 101.4 feet. It flew from 1963 to 1967. The Titan II GLV played a crucial role in the Gemini space program with 10 manned missions. These missions provided valuable experience setting the stage for Apollo's lunar endeavours. Also initially designed as an ICBM, it was later adapted as a medium lift space launch vehicle. It had a low earth orbit max payload of 7,900 pounds, 3,583 kilograms, and it was 109 feet tall, weighing 340,000 pounds, 154,221 kilograms. The lunar series of rockets was responsible for sending numerous spacecraft to the moon. Luna 2 was the first human-made object to reach the moon, and Luna 3 provided humanity's first glimpse of its far side. Initially launched on the R7 rocket family, they had a payload capacity of low Earth orbit 4,000 kilograms, 8,800 pounds, and an overall mass of 277,000 kilograms, 611,000 pounds. It had a three-stage system. The Mercury Redstone rocket was a workhorse of America's early human spaceflight program, lifting astronauts like Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom into suborbital and orbital flights, the first and second persons in space. Driven from the Redstone ICBM, it was used for six suborbital Mercury flights from 1960 to 1961. It had a maximum payload of 1,800 kilograms, 4,000 pounds, and a mass of 30,000 kilograms, 66,000 pounds. It was 25.41 meters, 83 feet in length. The Soyuz rocket family has been the workhorse of human spaceflight for over half a century. It's still in use today, symbolizing the continuity of Russia's space program. First flown in 1966 as the uncrewed Cosmos 133 mission, it last flew last month as of this video. It has made more than 140 flights in total. Designed for the Soviet space program by Korolev Design Bureau, now Energia, it was the US's only access to space post-shuttle retirement until SpaceX Crew Dragon launched in 2020. Its current maximum payload to low Earth orbit is 2,850 kilograms, 62,080 pounds. It's 44 meters long with a mass of 158,000 kilograms, 348,000 pounds. 
Although punitive in comparison, the first liquid-fueled rocket was built by Robert Goddard in 1923. This rocket set the foundations for every liquid-fueled rocket propelled system since. Launched on March 16, 1926 in Auburn, Massachusetts, it rose 41 feet, curved over and in all covered 184 feet in 2.5 seconds. Topping our list is the R7A Semi Orca, upgraded version of the standard R7 that launched Sputnik 1. It carried Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, marking a pivotal moment in the space race. The first successful flight of the R7 occurred on August 21st, 1957, marking a significant milestone. It had a unique stage design with multiple engines. It consisted of a central core surrounded by four boosters. The R7A launched from 1959 to 1967, of which there was 25 successful launches. It was 27 meters, 88 feet long, and weighed 280,000 kilograms, 617,294 pounds. The space race was not just a race for the stars, but a testament of human ingenuity and determination. If you like this or feel I missed anything out, please like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content on the way. Thank you for watching BizVinci today and goodbye.